You good to go? <laughs> right, so we've got engine crane uh, that arrived. Yeah. Yeah, and we built that. Who tripped over the engine crane, George? And where did you hit your head? Yeah. So we now have a child safety device so that nobody trips over the corner yeah. of that, do they? And we've got to remember... Oh, no. What? No. Yeah, well, it's, it's to protect those edges, isn't it? Okay, so we need to grab a few bits, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, right. So what else turned up, George? What's in the boot? The big engine. Yeah. Have a look. That's right. A replacement engine. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's missing the same three studs that we were out of ours. Yeah. So that must be a fairly common thing. And they've had to cut the. Uh, I want to put the off. ring on. The what on? The ring. The ring. The ring. The wing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, in the back there, yeah. nestled in all those boxes, is the replacement yeah, I wing. Put the wing on. But you want to do the well? We won't do the wing today because we'll put the engine in first yeah. in case we damage the wing. Yeah. Right. Let's get the bonnet open then, shall we? Is the end, is the wing going to be in here? No, that that's the old engine head. <sighs> head back, mate. What you found? You're obsessed with bugs, aren't you, mate? Oh, where's this? Ugh. I think the neighbour needs to cut their garden, George. It's looking a bit overgrown. Right, so the plan today and hopefully the weather stays nice, is we're going to strip all the bits remaining off this. So I'm going to start with taking the terminal off the battery, undoing all the bolts on the starter motor, disconnecting any of the remaining wiring, kind of push all that back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the engine crane, and we're going to disconnect the e-block. You found the ladybug? Yeah. Okay. We're going to um, disconnect the remainder of the engine from the gearbox, take off the engine mount, and then we're going to get the engine crane on here, find somewhere to secure it to, and lift that out. And then once that's done, we need to transfer the flywheel from this engine onto the new one um, and fit a new clutch because it, it weed on you. Right, just wipe it on daddy's trousers. That, that'd be fine. We'll get a wet wipe. Yeah? Leave, leave the poor thing alone. Pop it down there. There we go. So yeah, sorry, we're going <clears> to <throat> get the um, starter motor off, disconnect everything, disconnect the um, air con pump, get the engine crane on it, get this out, take the flywheel off, fit that to our new engine, um, and then I'll fit a new clutch while it's out, because it's counting, it's, <laughs> unless the one in there is pretty much brand new. That bag is on there. That's to protect the, uh, that's where the fuel comes through, George, just to make sure nothing drips out. Um, yeah, so once that's done, uh, we will then um, do a service on the new engine. So in the back of the car, <clears throat> um, under this pile of stuff, I've got a new chain, a uh, new water pump. Although saying that, this engine actually looks in better, newer condition than ours. Um, looks like it's got a relatively good thermostat on it, so we might keep that one. So between the two engines, I'm going to pick all the best parts, build this up, do a good service on it, and then um, we'll get this on the crane and into the car. I don't know if that happened in this episode, but the aim of this episode is to basically get this ready to go in. So let's crack on and strip out the old engine.
so starter motor is off I have removed any little brackets or anything all the electrical cables all have been pushed to one side I've just taken two brackets off the new engine because um, one of them had the um, seatbelt on it already I've just made this sling so let's get the uh, engine out of the car So that's out. It's also revealed we've got a split. I don't know where I've just done that, but that's rusted all the way through, look, about to fall off. Um, so, new center section, they're not too bad actually, about 60 quid, I think. Um, gonna need a new clutch, the thrust bearing on there. Oh God, that's really stiff and dry. And it's all split apart, if you can see in there. Look, so we'll need a new one of those. Um, and then let's have a proper look here. Yeah, so there we go. That's the the damage. Wow. Yeah, really had one. Look, it's cracked all this casing here as well. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll reuse that clutch. Flywheel should clean it fine. We can just wire brush that, get all the rust. It's just where it's been sat in the damp and got surface rust on it. The engine fairly stable so the next thing I need to do is I'm going to inspect the chain on it so I need to take off this plate here the water pump we've got a new water pump to go on there although to be fair that one does that seems all right not have any oil in it. Even got the coil pack on this one which is quite lucky. <clears throat> right so obviously every sensor's just been cut off. I think the first thing to do is take off the rocker and just inspect the state of the chain see if there's any flex in it and just see what condition that looks like.
So I've just pulled one of the spark plugs. It smells oily. And they're a little black, so I think I'll replace those. It's got compression when I turn it over, so that's a good sign. So at this point the GoPro decided it didn't want to record anymore, it just froze. I hadn't noticed it, um, but the good news is I stripped off all the casing, everything looked good underneath. The guides um, on the chain and the actual tensioner were brand new, so this had only just been done. So at that point I thought, well if it's not broke don't fix it, uh, it's pointless putting another chain on, it's extra time. Um, so we'll run it and see how it goes with it in. Um, I don't think there'll be any problems and we'll just go with that. So moving on, let's carry on with the rest of the work we need to do. All right, so just been out with George to get a few bits. So we've got uh, five litres of oil, fully synthetic. Um, we've got some wire brush discs and some um, pads just to try and clean up the old flywheel. Um, the world's biggest clutch box. And when they brought it out, I was like, you sure that's the right one? And yeah, look, look, look at that. <laughs> so I've got a new clutch and we've got the new um, bearing on there as well. So that's hydraulic, so we'll have to look and see how, sorry, that's hydraulic, so we'll have to look and see how easy that is to fit. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the old engine and I'm gonna get the flywheel off. I've already, um, put some WD-40 on there to try and loosen off the bolts. And we'll clean up the faceplate on here as well with those wire brushes. So we're gonna do that first. Just a second. George, it's only a drill. I did say it was. I did say it was. Do you want to have a go? Right, let's just put Daddy's socket down so that he doesn't lose it. Seventeen. Right, put the back seventeen. Two left. Good. One more, one more, and it's Ready? all done. Ready? Here we go. All done. It's just a bit loud. That's it was all. Just loud for the moment, wasn't it? Okay. And stay out here. You can inside. Oh. Yeah, right, just hang around with you. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> right, so I'm just having a look at this release bear in here. If you look at the old one, I'll try and get you down here to show you. It's actually got a pipe, metal pipe on it that runs round and then comes up. Out here. Oh. Hello, mate. You're back. So that's that's loose. That's not held in place. There's like a grommet, and there's a quick release. And what I couldn't figure out was on the new one, there's no union to join. Careful on this one. There's no union. It's just a push fitting. Yeah. So when I looked, 
There's nothing on there. No, there's not, is there, mate? When I actually look, it came with this in the kit as well. So what I think we need to do is take this bit out here, disconnect it, because that's going to be a quick release connection back onto that, and then pull the whole mechanism out with the copper pipes. I'm assuming, assuming they're copper pipes. With those pipes, take all that out, and then fit the new adapter on the top. So that will fit onto there when it's done. So let's have a crack at doing that. That's our old pipe. So that, and you can see that goes up into a fitting in there. So, couldn't see this from above. Yeah, I've actually got another pin there. So, when it's in position like that from above, couldn't see that. But now we know it should just be a case of pull that pin and it'll come out. Now. There we go, don't lose that pin. Drop oh, bit. There we go. Bit of leverage. That just popped out of there. That's our old pipe. So what we've got on the new kit. Is one of these. So I'm guessing once we get the other bit into there, work out which length it needs to be. I'm going to guess it needs to go around that way, and then that will clip straight into place. Okay, so with a bit of adjustment up and down, managed to get this line up. There are three little tabs, one behind here, one behind there, one behind there, and they don't line up from this transmit kit that I got. They didn't line up with the groove that's up behind the plate, so I trimmed them off very, very carefully, not getting any debris or anything into here or on the back. So they're like three little plastic tabs. I should have taken a photo, but I was just test fitting it, got it right. I was like, right, I'm gonna bolt it up now. But, but with those tabs in place, it doesn't sit flush to the back. So if you buy the transmit kit like me, you're gonna to wanna to change that. So next thing we need to do, we need to reassemble this bit with our new one. So this little cap comes off here. Oh, and the other thing to be aware of is when you get the kit, it's got one of these protection rings on the front. Take that off, you don't want that left in the gearbox. So, that goes. Yeah, so, where's that pin? Up there, right. So that goes into there, like that. Your little pin, the retaining pin goes back in, like that. And then that drops down into there. I'm going to take that pin out. Oh, I should have done that already. Don't know if it will let me. Yeah, there we go. Straight back in. That's all solid. And then, just show you that. Sorry, there's a really weird angle inside the engine. So that just pushed down into there. And then take this off. Clip it back on. And there, there we go. I'll probably leave it 10, 15 minutes now. With that connected up like that, make sure I've got no leaks. And then what I need to do next is we'll have to bleed it. And on the top here, you've actually got a bleed nipple. So you literally just get a bleeding kit, crack off that bleed nipple, all, basically let all the air out and it should be fine. And my reservoir's yeah, still got tons of stuff in it, so I can top that up later anyway. Right, 
let's go and uh, get the clutch fitted to the engine and the flywheel, get on there as well. Okay, so I checked the time and I think this has got enough content now for this vlog to go up. Um, I want to try and keep this going as much as possible. I know I said with family commitments, it's not always easy for me to get a vlog up every single week, but I want to get this video out. I've just been doing the editing. Um, done quite a lot of work on the car today. So today is Saturday. I'm going to get this video up ready for Sunday at six o'clock. And yeah, we've made some huge progress today, which you will see in the next video after the one that's going to go up tomorrow. Um, you'll also notice I'm sporting quite a nice new haircut, thanks to the wife. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really happy now. I'm from where we were with the Corsa, I was a bit like, oh, just sack it off and sell it as it is, as a broken one. But no, I'm here to persevere. I'm here to get it done. So if you have liked today's video, please remember to give that a thumbs up. Um, share it on social medias don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed I think about 75% of you who are watching these videos are just casual viewers and really helps me if you can hit that like button hit the subscribe button because we're sort of teetering around the figures that we need to be able to become monetized and if I can monetize then I can start to put more money into the channel we can buy more interesting cars and we can do more interesting work I can share with you so Thanks again for everyone who's watched all the way through to the end. From me, George, and the rest of the family, I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.